Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Astro Pill. Thanks for tuning in. So, the decision I have I have come to is to continue to play one shot and go through the second run. And this was after I went on to, I agonized about it for a super long time. I ended up turning to Reddit. Thank you to the people of the one shot Reddit. I posted about whether it'd be worth it to do a let's play of this run, which I have now found out is, the, they coined the term the solstice run because you enter the word solstice to, to kind of start um, in the password. So the solstice run, people are saying it becomes pretty different pretty quickly as you go on. And I, I, I asked for no spoilers, so that's pretty much the consensus from the people who have commented. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, and what I've decided is, first of all, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna record my entire desktop. I'm not gonna show it all unless it's necessary, but uh, before I messed up a couple times because I wasn't able to show you the things that they would do because I was only recording the game itself and not the desktop. That's why you couldn't see some of the things going on sometime. So I'm gonna keep it windowed and record my entire desktop. That's one thing. And then the second thing is if things are repeated too much, I'll probably just cut it out or fast forward it until it gets to something new, which uh, according to the people of Reddit should be soon. So that's my decision. Hope you'll, I hope you're excited to come along. I'm excited to see what's gonna change. Uh, so what's different is the last episode ended off somewhere in the earlier area. I just kind of moved closer to where Dr. Silver is, if you remember that. So uh, that's where I closed the game. Astro Pill? Astro Pill, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, whew. what happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. Sorry about that, I had to close the game. Okay, so I was like kind of looking around the area. There's still the safe, like, I, I, I tried to look back to the footage just to keep things in mind. And uh, the author said, if I see, I can proceed through the run the same if I want to, but if I want to change things, I have to look out for his sim his symbol, which is probably the black clover. Um, I'm not sure if I should keep that window open, actually. Be right back, let me, let me do that. I kept it open uh, previously, but I took a break and came back, so hold on. Okay, I've opened the clover window, it's just on the side, just in case. So I'm gonna look out for the symbol and see what I can change. All right, so now, hmm, is she, I, I, I can't tell what's the same and what's different. I've been rewatching some of the older episodes just to see if I can catch on and like maybe just remember puzzles to speed through, speed through them, but I can't quite remember everything. The light bulb. So, are you the messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Okay, this sounds about the same. Someone doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat. I'm a person. You have the eyes of a cat. Cats walk on four legs. Uh, it doesn't feel right that you are the messiah because you're a child. Uh, you better just let the world die. Okay, this was another thing I wanted to talk about. So I was seeing what people were saying about the endings uh, and because I kind of sped through the first playthrough's ending because I was so confused, I didn't really get a chance to talk about it. So I'm gonna very briefly talk about it because I actually didn't really have my own personal thoughts about it since I was so freaked out. I thought I did something wrong with Shattering the Sun and then I wasn't sure if that was the right thing to do. We don't even know if Nico got home safely in her run. And I was looking at what people's thoughts were on both endings. It seems uh, returning the sun might have just shown a similar ending so i don't know if it's worth it to just like go through just to see that short cutscene. maybe you could just look it up or something but um people were saying that the most optimistic view is that for for my particular ending is that she did get home safely and that everyone in this world had been suffering and slowly dying anyway and even like this robot you know Ms. dr silver is saying it right now that like they're just kind of suffering and like this the world is just slowly dying light is slowly fading away everything's getting consumed so they're saying that maybe it was a better thing because some people were, were hoping for a quick end as like depressing as that sounds so that's what saying people were saying that it might have been better that it, everything was just gone in an instant so nobody suffered um so that was what people were kind of saying about that. It also, like, you could have, you could really, you could speculate. You can have a bunch of different views on the endings. I, again, I didn't really have any personal thoughts of what I thought really happened. I was just hoping Nico got home. I wasn't super sure about, like, what would happen to this world. And I was really sad about that, that if it just ended so abruptly, then it felt, it was like, kind of like, what was the point of getting so attached to everyone? Why did this uh, this creature, uh, Nico, from another world and us from our world, why did we get involved with all this if that's how everything was going to end, 
right? Like, did we? I guess we just came here to end their suffering, but that's pretty sad. So that's pretty much my thoughts on it. So I'm hoping this solstice run will garner something maybe more optimistic, something better. The world's been falling apart for a long time. Uh, okay, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. At the very top, okay. Maybe I'll send you home, so go for the tower is what she's saying. Okay, I'm gonna look around and see. So now we know who Doctor her, who Kip is. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. Um, the good thing though is now that we're retreading, we can see things from future context. So that's mostly what I'm interested in. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. Okay, so this was because uh, she, this Dr. Silver right here caused a rogue, she went rogue and caused an incident, right? And uh, uh, she's refusing to go back to the city. Um, I guess something happened in the mines that we still don't know about. We never got to access the mines. So we don't know what happened in the mines and uh, the robots are breaking down because that red one was breaking down. Okay, at least know you got my message and that's Kip. Okay, the, her creator who she's based off of and Kip was saying that Silver hasn't been um, answering her letters. Okay. Um, it's the backup power cell. Okay, I remember that. Great. And then I don't know if I still want to pick everything up. Like, I don't know if we still want to go through the same puzzles. So she's not, maybe I can show her the journal. She's not quite saying anything new. I found this book. Do you know anything about it? Even though we're not supposed to have it yet. Let me see, what language is this? Yeah, I know, she, she does reply like this the first time we show it to her too. This insignia, oh, is this different? Hold on to the journal for now. It'll be important. Okay. Is there anything else we can show her that we couldn't have shown her before? Nope, nope. Okay, I'm gonna skip around and fast forward things. Whoa, that was different, I think. That was weird, was that different? Was that, what, wait. Okay, so I was looking back, again, I was looking back on older episodes. We also never resolved the thing with the fox. Is that what it was just now? Because that was pretty similar. That was the only other time something like that has happened. Are you okay? You were starting to black out. Uh, I, I saw something? Huh? It was like a really short dream just now. She said the same thing about the fox. Oh? I saw something like a robot with a yellow eye. That's strange. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. You know, now that you've mentioned it, there is a robot who always insisted on going back to, to the abandoned mines. Wait, now this is sounding kind of familiar. I'm so sorry, you guys. I really don't know how to handle this. I'm so distraught, but again, they really tried to convince me well, okay, not like, oh my god, please do it, oh, you have to, no. But like, they, they were very convincing about trying to start another run, so. Despite how long the mines have been in disrepair, I hope he's okay. He doesn't look broken or anything. This seems new. But I didn't really see him see him, you know? Like I said, it was kind of like a dream. And he was up close, really close, like a jump scare. It was terrible. Sounds like some kind of visual glitch or hallucination. You're insane is what I'm trying to imply. I've been trying to imply that this entire time you've been talking to an invisible person. It's been a bit weird for me. And I'm a robot. Whatever it is that living thing that living beings have. Hmm, does the robot you know of have a, excuse me, have a yellow eye? I don't think I've seen any other robots like that. Have we seen a robot with a yellow eye? I certainly can't recall right now. I would not know. I never met him myself, only heard of him from a friend of mine. Your friend, huh? Is it Kip? Hold on, something in my pocket is- What are you noticing? What is it? <gasps> oh, okay, she's just noticing the journal. Oh, it's glowing! What's happening? Uh, does that mean I'm supposed to reopen the Clover file? It's, it's still open, but maybe, maybe I have to reopen the EXE file? What? That wasn't glowing before! What is this? That was going to be my question. Where did you get that book? It's glowing with yellow phosphor, the strongest kind, right? Oh, uh, it was with me when I woke up back at the house. I didn't really question it at the time. I flipped through a couple of pages, but I don't understand a word. The only person that could read it so far is the librarian, but it was just that previous message to us. Does it say something new now? Is that just something messiahs are supposed to wake up with? No, I have never heard of anything like that, but I know who wrote the book. Oh? 
However, I've only seen his books with a black clover on the cover. If he went through the trouble of putting yellow phosphor in it, and the fact that you woke up with it in the first place, here we go, here we go, really has me intrigued. Yellow phosphor? Oh yeah, that's the rare phosphor that people think the sun is made of, right? You shouldn't know that yet, right, Nico? Uh, wait a minute, how do I know this? I don't think anyone's told me about it. Ah, uh, I can show you if you'd like. Oh, okay, we're getting it presented the amber in a different location and under a different context now. My friend gave me this a long time ago. It's from Kip, right? That's who your friend is? Pretty! I guess I'm only confused because I'm not sure if she's talking about the author or if she's talking about Kip. Oh, it looks like there's a clover in the necklace too. Like the book. Well, it is the same person. Ooh. That's why I think this journal would be important. You said it just started glowing? Yeah. That was right after your vision then. This has to mean something. Maybe you should at least try to read it again. I'm excited, you guys! I'm excited! Oh, jeez. Okay, so it didn't take that long for something different to happen. It's just we had to talk to um, talk to Dr. Silver and come into the mines. Because we've never, we've never done anything. Oh, it's different now. This is, whoa, dude. It's different now. So what is that pick, that object on the top left? Okay, but we're going to get a mine cart. We're going to get it working. And it's glowing blue. That has to mean something. Oh, I found this page. It looks like kind of a, it looks kind of like a drawing of this room. Maybe it's telling us we should come here? Which we did already. So it looks like we're on the right track. Cool, dude. Okay, so we gotta find a mine cart. It's another one of those shrimp jars. Can we talk to you again? Maybe you should inspect the journal a bit closer. So, okay, we're gonna take, a, so we can look at the picture and it's gonna tell us the same thing. So a blue mine cart of some sort? Um, okay, I don't remember there being anything in here specifically, and we can't cross until we find something. So, uh, I'm gonna reopen the .exe file super fast. Uh, wait, hold on. Mm, wait, huh? How did we get kicked all the way out here? That's bizarre. Actually, mm, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I reopened it, but nothing happened. And also, I'm getting picked up pretty soon. Um, pretty excited. I'm gonna be watching uh, Mary and the Witch's Flower. Is it a Ghibli movie? I'm super bad about that, but it's it's an anime movie, and I'm really excited about it. So we're gonna be watching that later. Uh, but yeah, so I gotta I gotta get going soon. A robot, no power, just like the rest. Okay, we're gonna look for a blue minecart. Okay, so I don't think I have to skip around anymore because this is all gonna be new. So just, just come, chillax, join the ride with me. We're gonna figure out this new world together. Let's see, this, uh, I remember there being a bunch of depressing journals around here. Yeah, the sun will not return and the abyss is calling my name. I'm sorry everyone for choosing to leave before the darkness suffocates us all. That's still so sad, that's so sad. Someone freaking, someone committed suicide. And then like in our ending, we ended the world in an instant. Like this is all really, really sad. Okay, and the safe is still here. I think the journal was supposed to be in this safe, so I don't think we need to open it anymore. I'm not super sure about all this. Okay, but we need to find a blue minecart. And I don't quite remember where we um, received a gas mask. I know there's a there's a factory next to ProfitBot where we can bend metal and get a crowbar. Um, I don't know if we still need that. I don't know if we still need to go in his house. What do we need to do? My God, you guys, this is crazy. I'm not gonna read it, I think it's the same thing. Uh, okay. So... There's gotta be like a blue... I, there's, there were a bunch of mine carts, weren't there? Like abandoned mine carts. But I don't know how we would push it, unless we like would just go to Dr. Silver and like ask for her help. She's probably pretty strong, you know? She's a robot, right? Well, I'm gonna bend this metal just in case. Um, okay, there's a bendy machine here. Okay, yes, crush the pipe. You're okay, you're okay, sweetie. I'm here. That was scary. Okay, so we have a crowbar just in case. I think that was the only purpose of this place. Okay, have you guys, have you spotted a balloon minecart anywhere? You should tell me where. Uh, here's a minecart. Mm, 
Oh, wait. Can I? Oh, I can't. I guess I can't look at it unless I'm in the mines with her. Can I talk to ProfitBot? Can you help me? There are questions I wish to ask. Uh, I think it's just the... Whoopsie. Ah, sorry, sorry. I think it's all about the, the same thing. Okay, hold on. Just gonna... Just in case. I'm not gonna quick click that quickly this time. Okay. Oh, I have to, I have to click on one. Okay. I think it's about the same thing. I'm gonna go into his house just in case. Hi, uh, are we gonna get the same person again? It won't turn on. Right, we had to provide backup power. Um, and this was the battery that charges in, se in seconds. Do we wanna open this? Will it Will it bring us on to the, the original path? Well, a metal cube and some broken glass. Well, I'm gonna grab it anyway, just in case. And these were the laws of robotics, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm so conflicted, you guys. I'm so conflicted. Okay. Hey guys, just wanted to cut in real quick and apologize if the editing or pacing is a bit disorienting so far. I just want to cut out as much repetition as I can until I'm super sure we can smoothly progress onto the new path. But the other thing I wanted to say was I had to duck out to watch the movie. I was just mentioning Mary and the Witch's Flower. So I'm actually coming back at another time right now. Um, I closed the game and came back. So we're going to jump onto a cutscene that showed up as soon as I opened the game. Thanks so much for bearing with me and I hope you're just as intrigued as I am so far. Let's go watch that cutscene. Okay, here we go. It's Nico looking round. Look into the sky. It's so beautiful. I love the like really just watercolory and you know, you don't have to fill it inside the lines. I like that. It's nice. It's pretty. The actual sun, a real sun. Oh, okay. I was a bit confused about why we were seeing a cutscene, but it's because I closed the game via a nap. So that's that's why. Astropil, are you still there? I, I don't know like how often she lets you sleep because sometimes she doesn't want to sleep and she's like, I'm, I don't feel like taking a nap right now. So I don't know. I don't know how often they let you sleep and how many of those cutscenes you're supposed to see. It's interesting to me because it's, it's just kind of showing us scenes of her homeworld. Yes, I'm here, Nico. Uh, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. Did we go through this already? I saw. You did? Wow. I, I really thought I was back home. Oh, this was from the first run through. Oh, we had this conversation before. Oh, shoot. Is this bad? Yeah, it's a big ball of fire, I remember that. Okay, back to fast forwarding. Okay, this seems interesting. So, um, I, I figured I was wasting my time by repeating stuff in the outer world. It seems like everything new has to do with this mine. We really want to cross. I was running around outside because I was hoping to find a mine cart. And we saw a bunch of, I saw a bunch of mine carts, but I couldn't really do anything with them. So, um, as I was coming back though, I was hoping I could use this journal somehow. And uh, the map right before, which is uh, Dr. Silver's map, there's a bunch of little black clovers on the floor and Nico does comment about them. So coming back into the mines, there's a little black blob on the ground and she's commenting that it's a clover. So let's see if something happens. It's a clover. Uh, is that it? It's a clover. Oh no, I was hoping something would happen. Oh shoot! What do I do? I feel like I feel like it's got to be like those are his symbols. He's like, look out for my symbols, and like use my book. Basically, is what he said. Because like right here, right here, there's like a patch of clovers, and like leading up to um that abandoned robot on the left, there's clovers. Can you help us with this? Hello? It's a journal you showed me in the mines. Doesn't look like it's glowing anymore though. Do you know what I'm supposed to do with it? I am unsure, but hold on to the journal for now. It will be important. Okay. Extremely not helpful. Extremely not helpful. I, I could really use, I don't know, a better hint of some kind. 
Oh, she killed all the shrimp. I vaguely remember that. Oh my god, I I'm kind of frustrated. It's just, it just feels like there's this whole adventure that's waiting to start, and like, I just, I just can't figure out the trigger to it. Ah, oh, it's gotta have to do with this clover and this journal somehow. She's not saying anything. Okay, wait, one more look. I'm so sorry, you guys. Be patient with me. This is quite the puzzle, man. Quite the puzzle. Uh, okay. Well, a blue minecart. So what? Oh, it full screened my game earlier. And let me de full screen it, see if anything happens. Okay. Hold on a second. Let me just close some windows real quick. There we go. Sorry if there's flashing on the screen, it's just windows closing over it. Great. It's a clover. Okay, can I use, can I use the thing? Can I use the journal? I have to reopen it. Gosh dang it. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, are you serious? I'd been like spamming and messing with it this entire time. So like I, I um went and opened the, the clover.exe, but then I started just kind of clicking around in silence trying to figure out what to do. So while I was standing on the clover, I then used the journal. I I couldn't equip the journal while I was in the mines, but I could equip it anywhere else. Uh because every time I tried to use it in the mines, it would open the picture, right? So, in the mines, I had to stand on the clover and then use the journal. Okay. <laughs> okay. What just happened? You and me both, sister. You and me both, Nico. Did you see that astro pill? This minecart just showed up out of thin air. I wasn't looking, though. I was just looking at the journal like you told me to. Uh, maybe we should go find that robot lady. Hi there, please help. This this thing just appeared out of thin air. That's pretty weird. I don't think that's really happened in the game so far. I was just taking a closer look at the journal. And then I found this page that looks like a drawing of this room, which we already talked about before, I think. When I looked back up, this minecart just showed up out of thin air. Should I be worried? You should probably be a little bit worried, Nico. I'm kind of worried for you. Even though we can break the fourth wall, that's pretty weird for inside this universe, I would say. Hmm. This looks like a standard issue minecart, though. Which means it was likely detected- Which means it likely detected the motion in this room and sent itself over. Are you sure about that? I don't think the tracks- Were the tracks a through way before? I, I didn't really pay attention. Plus it didn't make any rumbly sound effects. I don't know, that's a bit weird, Silver. Ah, uh, that does make sense, I guess. I don't know, I guess I'll just have to accept that for the sake of my sanity. I'm just surprised it still works. Guess that means we'll have a working vehicle now. Not sure why you would want to visit the deeper mines, uh, because people, you know, cats have been eaten in there and you're a cat, but if you wanted to, we now have that option, I guess. Uh, is the minecart even going to fit both of us? I'm just saying, you're looking a little broad in the hips, girl. I don't know if we're both gonna fit in there, okay? No. But I wanted you to come with us. I know I've got Astro Pill, the ghost that lives in my head. They're not corporeal, but they're here. But honestly, th this place gives me the creeps. Astro Pill's not good enough company. Oh, I can still come with. I would just have to follow along the rails. <laughs> Is she gonna get down on all fours and like her hands and legs are gonna turn into wheels and she's gonna go <laughs> all the way across with her face like plummeting towards you? That'd be actually terrifying if you like looked behind you and saw that. But doesn't it look a little precarious and you look a little heavy, you know? Just saying, you're made out of like really strong steel and metal. Mm. The magnetic rails can hold me in place. It's only ever dangerous to walk on if you're an organic being. Oh, so it's like she can literally just magnetically attach herself to the rails with her feet or something? Which you are. Gotcha. Okay, uh, let's go on in. I'm gonna let this run on a little longer. I I am actually a bit messed up about like how long the episode is so far, just because there's a lot of fast forwarding and cuts in this episode. Usually it's pretty easy to keep track, but I don't know about this one, so I'll just go on for a little longer. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, I'm moving it.
I can't even go backwards. Look, she's stopping me like, uh, excuse me. She's like, yes. Um, never mind. Oh, okay, let's just keep going. Can I look at anything around here? Hmm. Oh, I could just speed up too. We Here we are. Are we just stuck in this cart? Uh I I I can't move. What? What? Is this the entity? I do not recognize this place in the protocol. This This isn't what I'm supposed to be showing you at all. How did you get over here? I can only think of one person. He contacted you. How long has he been doing this? It doesn't matter at this point. You are going out of bounds. You have violated the rules in basketball. You should turn back. Please, turn back. Bad things are going to happen. Very bad things. At this rate, Nico will be in danger. Please, turn back. I'm gonna keep- I'm gonna keep going! I'm gonna keep going! Is Silver here? Silver? Hi there. Good. Well, we'll just- we'll just wait a little bit for you. No, no, I got- I'm going. I have to see what's going. I have to see what's ahead. I have to see why we're in danger. I'm sorry, Nico, to put you in danger, but we have to figure out what's going on. We're here to protect you. It's okay. Wow, you just teleported. That was pretty terrifying. I like I'm saying, you turn around, you see her, all four, all four legs turned into wheels. Her face just plummeting at you with no expression. Oh, the cart stopped. Looks like this is as far as the tracks go. So, where are we? One of the old observation rooms. Looks like it's still mostly intact. Ah! Uh, uh. What? Huh? What's happening? The terminal just reactivated. But the power was cut off so long ago. Weird. Maybe it runs on battery? It's not ghosts or anything, right? Even though I do believe in those because I talked to one, but that's still kind of scary. No, that's not it. Whatever it is, I need to investigate. Okay. Will you be okay for, by yourself for a bit? No, no, I won't be. No, can I just come with you? Unless you're going somewhere real dangerous that only, like, robots that turn into Transformers on wheels can go. But, like, you could just carry me. I could just ride on your neck, on your back. Don't leave me alone in a place like this after we just got a message like that. Don't worry. Astropel's with me. I'll be totally fine. All right. Stay safe. Oh, okay, so she's not going anywhere. We're going somewhere, so that's why. She's like, are you going to be okay going on your little field trip by yourself for a while? Some sort of computer. She's probably going to say that for each of them. How's it going? It's been two seconds, but I made any progress yet? Hurry up! Not ideal. Looks like these terminals are running on a completely separate power source. I can't really recognize any of the data formats on this terminal either. This is all... new. Or at least, encrypted. I will need to analyze it through my own system. Might take some time, so you don't need to stay. Basically, get out of my way, you little snot-nosed brat. It's a power cell, I think. It looks just like uh, Silver's power cell from in her room. Oh, the word ProfitBot is written on the side. His power cell is here? I thought he had one in his room. Was there, there wasn't there like a back room where we activated all of the power throughout the land? Wasn't his power cell in there? Am I going crazy? Didn't notice that earlier. Huh, weird that it's his, what, if, one of his two power cells, maybe? I don't know. Or his only power cell would be in a place like this. That's interesting. There are a lot of small glowing shrimps swimming in the jar. Who put them there? Who placed them here? That should be kind of suspicious, right? This should have been abandoned and torn down a long time ago. Why would there be shrimp here? Somebody had to put it there. Oh. Hmm. Where do we go at this point? I think we're, like, stuck in this little room. Unless we want to go back in the... Are we going back? Hmm, is there... I don't know if there are alternate paths around here. What are we doing? Oh, the ride back was significantly shorter. Um, no, I'm assuming we have to do something in there, don't we? Like, why, why would we go all the way there and not do anything, right? What could we do to help at this point? So, 
there was just a mysterious computer, um, stuff that, you know, Silver's never really worked with, stuff she's never seen. How could we help her? I mean, we have stuff from the first run, um, but I don't know if that's gonna help at all. Where- oh, there's a door! Sorry, sorry, my- the- the brightness on my screen is, uh... I, I, if you guys remember from the earlier episodes, we completely missed the fact that we can go into the house behind ProfitBot's place because it's really, really dark for me. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! This guy looks really different. He looks pretty upset that we're disturbing him and I'm a bit afraid. Silver? Silver, could you get in here? Why don't we talk to this weird robot in the next episode? Oh my god. Okay, so... I'm really glad that uh, the Reddit users uh, convinced me to continue because things are definitely branching off to be very different now. Now that we've hit the mines, everything before that was like kind of similar and they, they clearly realized it was a different path, but um, I was really nervous for a bit there and I'm sorry for like the weird, non-sequential, the mess of the editing, but I, I hope it's still... Um, it still gives you the experience. I hope you're still having fun. So thanks so much. I'm really excited for this. Join me for the next episode and let's talk to this angry robot that might kill us. I'll see you then. This is Axis, over and out.